Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin car. Um, I'm on the way to the McDonald's drive-thru. Uh, I'm gonna make a fillet of fish today. Yeah, that's it really. Ah, uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. I'm gonna order fillet fish right now. I'm in, I'm in the drive-thru, so I need to concentrate. Here we go, here we go. Hello, how can I help? Hiya, could I have a uh, fillet of fish on its own, please? Yeah, anything else? Uh, no, thank you, just the burger. Yeah, I'd like to set your order on the screen and the first window. Okay, cheers. Yeah. Is that your name, Ari? I've never heard of that name before. Sorry? Is that your name, Ari, is it? Or sorry, it's Abby? Abby, it's a B. Ah, all right, sorry. I was like, what? Never heard of that name. <laughs> all right, cheers. Thank you. Bye. Totally trying to chat that girl up. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really Mrs. Barry, honestly. Uh, so yeah, I'm just doing a fillet of fish burger. Uh, one of my mates, Mark, one of my best mates. We'd always go to McDonald's when we were younger and all, all the like, um, you know, the big burgers and that. But he'd always want a fillet of fish, and I'd be like gutted because he'd have to sit there in ten minutes and wait. So uh, I'm gonna get one now or we'll make our own. And that's about it, really. I just I was watching one of my burger videos the other day and I got really reminiscent. So that's about it, really. Yeah. The girl's name badge said Ari. I was convinced it said Ari, but her name's Abby, but the R and the B were mixed together, so. See, so this is what I'm talking about. This is how long it takes to get fast food. It's crazy, I've been sat here like five minutes and I haven't got to put like, the actual thing yet to say what's happening. Crazy. Hello. Oh, yeah. You can pass the bait too, they're yeah. just cooking your fillet. Okay, okay. cheers, Thank thanks, you. thanks. Look, they're cooking my fillet. I still got to wait. This is rubbish. This isn't fast food. I'm going to go and make my own. It's going to probably be, well, it might be a little longer, but it's going to taste better, right? Yeah, so this is exactly what I'm talking about. Right now, I'm sat in a parking bay. I've already been here like 11 minutes. 11 minutes, wow. 11 minutes of my life gone. I've sat here. This is the sort of thing that's happened to me all the time. My mate Mark, we just sat there like, mate, we're we eating our like big burgers in the back and he's there waiting for his fillet of fish like this. So uh, yeah, this is it really. I'm just sat here waiting. The homemade thing must work. Okay, this is getting ridiculous now. I'm just sat here on a parking bay. I think they forgot about me. Look, parking bay one, two, and three. I'm just here on my own. I just want one little burger. Maybe they know about my reputation around here. I did think I had a restraining order. This is ridiculous right now. I've been sat here 20 minutes. Um, the only times I ever get this annoyed normally, and I'm still quite positive and stuff, but it's my day off work. Thank you. Um, is when trolls leave comments on my YouTube videos. I'm literally just sat here. I'm like, I just want some fish. Just a fish and some bread and some cheese and a bit of tartar sauce. That's all it is. Help me. Do you know what I'm starting to think to do right now? Uh, do you remember that film, Falling Down with Michael Douglas? Some of you are probably too young to remember that, where he goes in, he goes, I want a breakfast. And they're like, sir, it's 10.37, we stopped serving breakfast. And he pulls out like a gun and stuff. Maybe I shouldn't do that, but they're still not coming. Sorry, Lily. Oh, that's all right, no worries. Yeah. Cheers. That's why they call it fast food. Rubbish. Okay, so I'm back from McDonald's and that was possibly one of the weirdest trips I've ever had. I was there for ages. Uh, Nipton got some ingredients as well in about a third of the time. Madness. Uh, I'm going to show you my little McDonald's trick before we start. Okay, ready? Look. A bag. Nothing there. Nothing there. Uh, nothing in my hand. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Oh, you like that? That was kind of funny, right? Um, anyhow, let's get on. Okay, so before we start, I want to make out, I'm not trying to slate McDonald's here, okay? I'm just trying to show you how you can make your own at home, and it's potentially a little bit quicker. Um, McDonald's did actually help me get through my childhood a little bit, and the stuff they make now is a bit healthier, so uh, they're not even paying me to say that. Uh, so here we go, uh, fillet of fish, uh, dive into your fillet of fish, cha-ching. Opened it up, and look, got a little bit of like, film marks in the roll, and obviously it's a little bit cold now, but look, it's not too bad, the fish is quite thin, I don't know what's going on with the cheese there, so I've just got to replicate that thing. And to do that, I have got myself a bun, like so. There we go, bun. Uh, a slice of American cheese, some tartar sauce. I've actually made my own homemade tartar sauce on a previous video before, but just grab a jar if you want, it's up to you. And this is a block of cod, so white fish. Um, you can get it in the frozen aisle, really cheap. I've got a pack of like 12 for like two pounds, which is really, really cheap. And you just have to thaw it out. And that is a nice thick piece of fish, my friends. Better than that, you can always go to the old fishmongers if you want. So it's looking good. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is get some funky breadcrumbs around our fish. So let's do that. Okay, don't muck friends, uh, muck friends, you like that, muck friends. Uh, bread, crumbs, right there. If you've got some stale bread, you can just like, whiz that through a little chopper if you want, or you can just get some from the shop, like so. In here, I've got one egg, white, and yolk, so I'm just gonna beat together a little bit, like that. Make an egg wash. Not, you can't wash your face with the egg, but you, yeah, 
You get what I mean. Okay, so let's dip the fish in the egg. Uh, there it is there, all nice and thawed out. Try and get rid of all the excess water you can, cha-ching. And here is my egg wash. Just gonna sit it in there like that. Give it a nice, good coating, like so. Pick it up carefully, straight into your breadcrumbs. And then gather it, get it all nice and coated like this on the top. Now you can go back and forth, or if you wanna be super anal, uh, that's the wrong word to use really, um, what you can do is put it in the fridge or even the freezer just to set and then do another dip again. Um, but this is looking like a darn good coating already. So I'm looking, like I'm pretty happy with that actually. I might just get a little bit around the edges. We'll get it out, dust it down, and then it's gonna go on that oven tray thing. That's it, that's it. Okay then folks, there is my fish fillet thing. Already breadcrumbed fully up to the max. Wicker wicker wow wow. Um, it's going in the oven like that. If you overcook it, the fish will start to flake away and it'll just be like, Pfft. don't really want that. Um, just shut the door like that. I'm gonna give it around about 10, 15 minutes, but I'll let you know the time once it's done. So uh, just chill out now. Okay, folks, we can actually move on and do one other step while that's in the oven, okay? And that is the buns. Uh, normally with Big Macs and stuff like that, uh, they're toasted, but if you check out the fillet of fish, it's all spongy and there's no sort of toasted effect there. So the way we're gonna get around that is just grabbing our buns like so and shoving them in a microwave, cha-ching, for about 10 seconds, maybe just slightly under. If you overdo it, what will happen is it'll be all crunchy, it'll be like a biscuit, you'll be like, <sighs> and you don't want that. Um, you don't toast the buns either, which is, I don't, I don't like that. Um, so yeah, definitely don't do that. There we go, that was 10 seconds. And if I pick one up there, oh, it's actually quite warm. Can you see the steam? Ah, <laughs> it's hot. Um, so here's the base, and what I'll do is sit my cheese on the base there, just to let it get to know it. Just like that. Now we'll wait for the fish. Okay folks, so I've just taken my fish fillet out of the oven, cho cho like so. It looks like a giant fish finger. The colour is slightly different to that one, because obviously I haven't shoved it in a deep fat fryer. If I just sit that on there like that, oh my goodness. Now, the last step here, as you can see, it is the tartar sauce on the bun. So what I'm going to do is smear a good amount on to the lid, like so. Seal that all around. Oh, got a bit on my finger. And if I just push it down, like this, oh my goodness. I'm now gonna wrap that up in greaseproof paper, like this. There we go, just like that. It's nice and sealed in there. What I'm gonna do is blast it in the oven for another five minutes now, just to heat it all the way through and give it that real McDonald's finished article kind of feel. And then we'll eat it, and that'll be it. And then I can finish, and then I can eat it. And yeah, cool. Yep, so I'm just being lazy really, using the same pan as before. I'm just gonna whack it in the oven just for around about five minutes minimum just to warm it all through. I'm excited, let's see what happens. All right, so just got it out of the oven. It's been five minutes exactly, and that, my friends, is really nice and warm fruit. So I'm gonna just sit it on there, next to that one. Right, right back there, let's go for it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alrighty then, let's get it out of its wrapper. Okay, so we clip the fingers. There is my uh, McDonald's fillet of fish. Boom, there is my McBarry fillet of fish right there. Nice and warm. My fish is there. The, 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 the tartar sauce is draping over, the cheese is all melted through. I'm excited by that. Slight difference in color, but ultimately, I'm happy. I'm, I'm really, really happy about this. Let's see what it tastes like. Yippee. Right here then, folks. Let's have a taste of my, uh, do you like my sign look made? McBarry with the tartar sauce on it. It's all good, here we go. It's still so warm, here we go. Mm. Oh my God. I can't eat this one because it's too cold and I could reheat it, but I just know what they taste like anyway. That is incredible. Mmm, like a giant fish finger. Have I got the money shot there? The money shot on my face? Oh my gosh, that tartar sauce. That is gorgeous. So, so simple to make. And I can make about 15 at least with the cost of those ingredients. So, um, sorry, 10. I've got 10 rolls. Uh, so, if I can make it, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself if you want. Let me know how you get on if you want. Uh, if you like this video, like it, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. And I'll uh, see you again next time. Mooktastic. Mooktastic.